CBS 2 meteorologist Rob Ellis back now in our first alert weather center. Hey, Rob. Yeah, temperatures are on the colder side today. They really haven't warmed up very much, and we do expect the temperatures to stay cold through the evening. But I've checked all of the observations. I've checked all of the cameras that we have around Chicago, and I have not seen any snowflakes actually make it to the surface. But it is showing up on radar, and there's a plume of moisture that's throwing the snow farther to the north and east. And unfortunately, that brings some snow over our area. But when I switch to our high-resolution radar, uh, which is really going to be able to look right near the surface. It is not seeing any of this snow falling. You do see snow to the west because as the radar beam gets a little farther away, it goes higher and higher in the atmosphere. That's where we are seeing the snow fall. But as of yet, I have not seen any snowflakes reach the surface, but I am watching those observations. I do think we will see some snow as we get through the evening and maybe even overnight as the atmosphere uh, begins to moisten up just a little bit as some of this moisture begins to fall. Uh, some of the snow begins to fall. Temperatures probably holding in the 20s and maybe even rising a little bit as the system exits because the winds are going to start to kick in out of the south and southwest. We are expecting sunshine for tomorrow. You put the two of those things together and that'll move our temperatures above the average for our high up into the 40s more than likely. And that's just the start. As we do the same thing again on Sunday, we modify the air mass. The cold air that's in place, well, it's been uh, replaced with warmer air, sunshine helping to warm you up and also south or southwest winds, maybe even a southeast wind at times helping to move in even warmer air. So you see by 3 p.m. on Sunday, we're up into the mid to upper 40s. I do think we'll make it to 50 degrees. Maybe not for everyone, but 50 nice round number for you. Uh, a lot of sunshine expected. This is a beautiful forecast for the weekend. But then we start to notice some changes move into our forecast. We'll move up a little bit in temperature for Monday, mid 50s, and then a big drop. And anytime you see this type of pattern where the temperatures are steadily rising and then there's a steep decline, that's usually a weather maker that's going to move through. And sure enough, there is a weather maker arriving on Monday. It may arrive Monday morning with some pretty heavy rain. So for your morning commute after that beautiful weekend, you may need to leave a little bit early to allow a little bit of extra time if you're leaving early Monday. We may wrap that up with some scattered showers or even a rumble of thunder on Monday afternoon. So your forecast has a lot of mild temperatures, but there is one day we want to make you aware of, and that's Monday. Some rain possible mainly in the morning, but may continue into the early afternoon. It's also going to be pretty windy, and that's what takes these temperatures from the 50s and cools them down into the 30s late Monday evening into early Tuesday. The rest of the forecast is 40s and 50s. Other than Monday's rain, that's going to move in. The rest of the forecast is dry. Get through some snow showers tonight and you get a beautiful weekend on tap. We'll be out there taking advantage of it. Thank you, Rob. You got it. Did you get your pizza ordered? Yeah. Did, did you want the pepperoni or no? I didn't look like you were ordering for me. <laughs> I wasn't asked. You're leaving. You're it's gone Friday night. 10 minutes.